Welcome everyone for another video and this time we have the fourth game of the grand final of the nation cup between France against United Kingdom. United Kingdom managed to pull ahead 2-1, to one. France they're back against the wall and we decided to pull like a very very aggressive dual lane on the side of Team France with the Rictor being picked up and that's exactly what we are going to focus on. Manchu playing this Rictor and starting the game by landing a hook showing a statement and we'll see if he managed to pull out more hooks or not while the game like pursue and that's exactly what we are going to see in that match. So we are back for the fourth match of this grand final of the Nation Cup first edition France against UK. UK pulling off the W after a 45 minute banger of a match in the previous match. So now France have their back against the wall. Like it's 2-1 to one for UK, if UK win it, it's gonna be like the victory of Team UK. If France want to have like a shot at this Nation Cup, they still need to win that match and then like win the next match of this best of five series. So for that game, we're gonna focus on the side of Team France on Manchu, which play the support, which is gonna be like on the dual lane with Neft. On the mid lane, we have Easy Peasy in the jungle puzzle partner with a contest jungle and Moros on the off lane. Facing them, we do have Team UK with Bondrood, Import, G-Boy, Penguin and Julie Latina. So we have a Rictor Drongo against a Steel Rez. Usually like Steel have a lot of trouble to exist into a dual lane, but I feel like Steel is actually like pretty good into a Rictor because you can like every time a hook is happening, you can go for a bull rush on the two other character and being like actually like damaging a lot. But the problem with Steel here is that he's facing a Drongo and Drongo is very like slippery and very annoying to play into as the Steel because you get, ooh, and we got like the first hook immediately onto Julie Latina from Manku. So that means that we're gonna get a lot of damage. Penguin doing the good job of going immediately onto Neft to actually like afford to get like a little bit of trade back. But Julie Latina is already like Manku is here to apply a statement. Like we lost previous game, we're all back out against the wall. I'm gonna still like probably like destroy you anyway. Hello MT, how you doing? We tried to go for the second hook here. Unfortunately, the hook didn't like connect. Julia Latina uh, still has our flash up though, so surviving early uh, aggression, and so that's very good for their side. But still, like it's it's the strength of the Rictor. We get the level two immediately. Manchu step forward, trying to apply a little bit of pressure, trying like to be annoying for Julie Latina to not make it easy for her to last it. But she's a res, so res with the RMB, the knock knock, it's good enough to be able like, to farm from distance. But at any point, she always like need to be like a little bit careful of uh, the potential IT that uh, they can go like on her we got a lot of damage here but immediately gelatina go on to neft and so neft took like a lot of damage back so that's a little bit scary on that dual lane but nobody has any potion left, I guess, except Manhu. Allied tower under attack. Here Manku like stopping the RMB so like Julian cannot farm because he's like very very healthy so he can uh, afford to spend his passive uh, to make it like annoying for Julian Latina to go for those RMB. We try to go for the hook here. Hook doesn't connect. And here we're going to be aggressive onto Neft. Full on aggression here because the hook is down and we don't have the electrocute but Manku go for like a good uh, feeling here they're gonna like follow that up and so here team uk try to be aggressive onto that dual lane neft following immediately with the flash and that's gonna be like a double kill here a 
And so now we're going to crash that wave. Probably like after a wave is crashed, we just get our goal buff and a reset. So I kind of like the aggression of Team UK, but still like it's, it's a little bit tough to fully go for it because like it's a it's a drone go. He's got grenade up, and that's gonna be like this aggression timing with the flash and stuff can actually like start to be like very dangerous. And also it was like inside the wave. In the end, we do get neft with a 2-0, and that's not something that you want to see on neft. Julia still managed to get the soul Kalis on his back. But uh, not neft is with an honest Chris, a crossbow, and a short sword. So we have like 10 physical power and 5 ability aced against like 28 physical power, 4 physical penetration, and 15% crit chance that activate the Westlander passive. Penguin and Julatina can't really fight uh, for the time being, and so they have to be like extra careful. But being extra careful when you're facing a Rictor is actually like very, very, very tough. Top of that is going to be the bounce back, so that means that they can go for like a freeze if they want. And like here, like the, the freeze is actually like would not be easy to break thanks to like how much like neft uh, itemization is, is far ahead. So here we do have Rampage that is coming around. Import is here. They do have the information. Here, like, like we were saying, like they kind of need to get that crash up because if that crash doesn't happen, then suddenly this dual lane is not really like, able to play. And so that's going to be here. Uh, import that is sacrificing a little bit of his jungle time to ensure that Julia Latina and Penguin can crash that wave. So here we're just going to go for the D ward. to go for the hook on Julie Latina. Julie Latina Allied dodging. Under attack. And that's the patient game with Richter once again. Like if you like once your hook is done you just have to wait for your hook to be up. When your hook is up, you're looking at some opportunity, but you have to kind of find like angle that it looks um, like hidden in a sense, because if it's not oh hidden and max range, like people were just gonna dodge it. Here, Penguin is trying like to freeze that cannon so they can farm into like a good spot. And he successfully does so. Ooh, and we get the hook here with the Greg grenade. Try to go for the silence immediately. We're gonna like put on the tower and then we have Neft going in thanks to the level six and the shrapnel cannon and securing the kill on Julia Latina. And that's exactly what you should be looking for as a Rictor. Like, as you have seen, like even in my commentary, like the intensity was kind of low, but that's exactly what you're looking for. As a Rictor, you try to make like the, the, the moment that it feels like, okay, people start to kind of sleep like we're not really looking for anything nothing is happening and suddenly like you activate uh your your aggressivity and you get a hook and suddenly like you disappear and it you have to be like very good at switching those aggression because if you're always like on the Enemy aggression pass like the enemy team is gonna be like always like looking for those hook always be ready to dodge them always be ready to react while victor has these strengths of like your passive and suddenly you go for the aggressivity so here we have uh, Mankyu that is rotating towards mid lane because the side of Team UK secured like a double kill on the jungle and the mid lane. So Mankyu is forced to actually uh, come here to cover the mid lane. He's gonna like stop the crash here to uh, allow like uh, his teammate to probably like be able to farm that. He doesn't want this farm to be lost. Still catching the last hit, of course, because we don't really want those last hit to be lost. And that's going to be back to dual lane. Flash on man Q should be up. Ultimate is up, so we're probably looking at some aggression onto that dual lane with those like active cooldowns. 
And we go for the flash in with the skewer into the hook. Get grenade got stopped here by uh but we're gonna get like the shrapnel cannon again by neft and that's exactly what you should be looking with the victor uh if you know that um you have your cooldown up and the enemy team doesn't have then that's very very easy penguin does a very good job with the shield to stop like the gag grenade because if the gag grenade connected on Julia latina she was dead like immediately but here they do secure the pick up onto dual lane team friends rotating for the fangus team uk not like really like trying to contest something that is gone and immediately was also doing the mini prime in the meantime so here we just have a trade-off objective while getting an advantage of the kill on this side of the map and the thing that is can start to be scary is that neft is 4-0 and uh, we all know what neft is able to do once he gets a little bit of a lead so here they have to be careful because penguin is level 6 so that means that penguin does have his ultimate Julia Latina is level 6 as well, so that means she has also her ultimate. And while like Manchu and Neff both ultimate were down. So here that was like another timing that here Manchu stepping up. They could probably like have maybe start to engage on him with the shield slam, then get the follow-up damage and maybe try to get like um, a kill onto that Rictor because the Rictor has no flash, has no skewer, and so it's probably like very, very easy to, to focus. I feel like that's time and time again we see Penguin and Julie Latina maybe not so confident uh, playing together that on those timing that they have the upper hand they don't take advantage of them and they just play passive. Ally tower under attack. So here we do go for the aggression with the flash we do get like a nice gag grenade plus the rewind and so like this Rictor is actually like taking like a lot of damage finally they go for the skewer and so like the kill takes a little bit too long penguin is gonna die manchu is still alive like how is it even possible that manchu is still alive we do get the kill on julie latina manchu is coming back trying to help uh neft and unfortunately he's gonna just end up dying i guess like the hook was almost out of cooldown and in the end it's a 2 for 2 but that's that, that, that's absolutely like horrendous by the side of team uk like this situation should have gotten like a one for zero freely absolutely freely and then here it's a two for two when you were like in the numerical advantage which means that the other side of the map like and then we got like actually easy peasy securing like a solo kill i think on g-boy with g-boy like getting like push on the tower here the rocket And that means like like on two sides of the map, like here we lose the 1v1, like we kind of go even for the 3v2. So that's actually like very, very, very tough for the side of like Team UK. And uh, though we do get like a very nice shot done onto uh, import. But of course on the Rampage, it's not the best character to get the shot done. They would have much preferred got the shot done for Julie Latina. But uh, yeah, it's uh, how, how is Manchu surviving like this whole aggression? uh in the end we got like a lot of like the rewind was a little bit wasted in a sense because we were using it at the moment that we shouldn't really have uh, because we have seen that manchu almost like never didn't even walk or get rewind back in a sense and so like um and the perfect gag grenade by neft also like to stop like the combo from the steel making the combo take like a little bit uh, longer and uh suddenly manchu survived with a slitter of hp Still, the kill was right before he can finish his quest, so that actually like gonna delay delay a little bit his quest. Probably we're looking at sanctification or rift walker. I guess from the enemy team we're facing, probably sanctification. I would assume. An allied towers destroyed. Okay, we try to go for the hook on penguin not connecting we 
looking at like potentially getting some information in the jungle. We do see that we have some aggression from EZPZ and Puzzle Panda onto G-Boy and Import. But there was nothing to be found. So in the meantime, they try to engage onto Nef. Mantri is coming back. Get the silence. Get the skewer. We get the gag grenade. But the gag grenade is not fast enough. So we get the shield slam. But Nef dodging it with the shrapnel cannon. And Penguin ended up dying here. So a little bit scuffed. Like Penguin like making it hard for the side of Team Friends to actually like uh, kill him. But in the end, they do secure the pickup. Import is here with the Bulldog throw, But it's not connecting. So they're just going to secure the gold buff. Probably Neft is looking for the reset here, probably Mantu as well. And then Team France will probably group up around the Fengtus. We're spending like all their gold, getting their crest, uh, regenerating their mana and be ready to go for like this fight. We're working towards the Bow Belt Patrol, Pauldron. So we got already a TR2 to reduce the attack speed of that Krux, that um, Rampage. If they start like auto attacking that Rictor. In the meantime, we see that the rest of Team France is looking for some aggression. On to import, Hydra getting the Coliseum, import is forced to use the BMOs, we do get like the black hole as an answer, import jumping away here, the fight is a little bit complicated, Panda is getting low at 1 HP, he's getting picked up by G-Boy, we also have like easy peasy that end up falling and so here, Team Friends probably over committing a little bit too much while their dual lane is not there, like both Manchu and Neft were not there, so yeah, you're at 9-6, but once again, seven of those kill are on neft so you shouldn't probably like fight with that neft and on top of that you try like to yeah, you try to remove like the rampage out of the equation which means that was a free fangtus but at the same time here it's a it's a it's a rampage with the emos so that means that it's gonna be very 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 hard to kill and it ended up like being a little bit too much to shoot for team friends and so they end up losing two losing the fangtus when Neft was so strong that they should have never lost that. So Team France pulling the trigger a little bit too early, not waiting for their full team to be around, and that ended up being like very costly for them. Nev securing the tower, Manfu staying at distance to ensure that Nev gets the full local gold, the 300 local gold. We try to go for the Rift Walker hook play onto Julie Latina, not being successful. So that's gonna be disengage time. And Team UK once again showing their dominance when it comes to objective. Three objective to one. It's something that they're doing like very, very, very well. Even in the semi-final, like they were securing objective on cooldown. So here we're actually looking to make a play on the right side of the map. Left side has been completely abandoned by the set of Team France, but we get a little bit of aggression, easy peasy disengaging with the landmine. And Matthew looking to maybe find some aggression. Puzzle Panda level 9 against a level 11 Rampage. It's a very, very like low level, like being the same level as your support as a jungler. And Contest Jungle has actually like a pretty fast clear overall once you get like a few items online. So I'm really surprised of like the reason why Puzzle Panda is that far behind on experience on the side of Team Friends. Cyan Deef maybe, but it's not it's it's not too full level, I guess. That could be a, a, a level, but not too full level. So here, not much to be found. We kind of shift the dual lane towards mid lane. Easy peasy is defending the dual lane. Krug still applying a lot of pressure onto Moros here. And here it's kind of like uh, getting a little bit slow. Not much is happening for now. 
Thank you for the red new ring. Welcome, welcome everyone. We're reviewing the matches of the grand final of the Nation Cup yesterday. France against UK. And here we're in the fourth match. UK is leading by 2-1. to one, And so France need to absolutely win that match. Otherwise, UK win everything. And here we try to go for the hook. Immediately, G-Boy go for the torn space to dodge the hook. Because the hook was on point. And now we can see that the support is ahead on level from the jungle. That is rough. And here we kind of... Yeah, it was the nation turning new ring. The match, those match were played yesterday, and here we reviewed them while anal analyzing like a specific POV of some players. And here on that match, we're focusing on Manq on the Rictor support for Team France. So I guess like here, there is not much to be found. Uh, well, wasn't part of the roster uh, this time new ring. But I assume like in the future, if there is people interested in more countries and there is player for those countries, like I'm sure Lil Bai would love to add them to um, the, the tournament. So here we have the third Fangtus. We tried to go for a little bit of aggression onto the mid lane. We had Penguin, Mankyu flashing immediately away. Trying to get like a little better like angle here. Bondu taking like a lot of damage, but not so much actually, only 30% of his health. Fangtus is respawning. Team France is looking like to probably like defend that. Bondu is looking on the aggression. We got the hook onto Bondrood. We're gonna go like for the combo, but that means that now we have to go in on the side of Import to try to fight that. Puzzle Panda going to the back line, but no Import get picked up. We go for the counter and get with the black hole onto three people. And now we have the shield slam. But people like I kinda surviving and Team Friends playing the lethal choke point very well. Bondrood end up falling. Man Q is still alive with a low HP. The whole side of Team UK is forced like them to go disengage. And Man Q is going in with the silence. That's gonna be a pickup on G-Boy before he can you go for the torn space. Morris chasing that, getting the barricade. A very nice hook by Man Q onto Julie Latina. And Morris is gonna chase like Penguin on the backside, trying to maybe get the kill. We get the spear and the spear, and that's gonna be a full team wipe by the side of Team France and I have to admit like it didn't look so good like match was like a little bit like kind of close but that's definitely like a huge turning point and we start this whole engagement by a hook by Manchu onto this uh, Grux and then we play very well for the set of Team France like, like this little that. corner which kind of forced Team UK to step up because if they don't step up Pondu just get picked up for free and suddenly they lose the Fangtus like that. so that's why like imports goes in but Team friends play like a very, very great like team fight. Then we got another like wonderful silence onto G-Boy. Then a wonderful hook um, after that. And that's going to secure like so many, many stuff for the set of team friends. And that's going to be like a 5 to 1 in terms of like kills and a Fangtus. And now we're looking for like the trap. We get the hook. We're looking for the body block. We get the silence. And that's Penguin absolutely dead. Unfortunately, here the skewer doesn't connect but that's a pickup before the or prime and uh, no steel available for that next team fight team friends pulling the or prime with the rest that was also like on the dual lane so it's a 5v3 for a short while we're looking and another wonderful hook by man q like he activated the demon mode nor import is alone is gonna get like coliseum away but if Jump Ponce thanks to the BMOs like above the cage puzzle panda surviving with one hp and now that's gonna be like three people dead that should definitely like be probably this all prime for the side of team friends puzzle panda has to be careful though he's very low on hp and there is like a race in the enemy team so well there was uh panda's all panda so they don't have like the the hunt anymore so they have to be careful easy peasy zoning bond the away they don't have anything to secure this all prime beside their all thing penguin tried to go in but team france managed to burst it and no penguin has gone in jolie latina has gone in moros is like fighting into the back line manku is going to arrive with a little silence and that's going to be like another double kill jolie latina is just simply disengaging onto the other side of the map yes new ring is the final and here, like, I don't know what happened. Man Q said, like, I'm going to activate my hook M-Boyt because it's just, like, hook after hook after hook. 
and securing like all those great like engage for his team and actually managing to now we have our prime onto five people and we started to pull ahead in terms like of kill so let's see what team friends does with that our prime now they won't have the all prime up for the next like Fangtus, which will be the primal Fangtus. So they need to secure as many tower as they can. As we see on the mini map, we still have like three tier two tower and one tier one tower to collect. That's I think like what Team Friends is looking for. As we can see here, we're not overstepping our welcome in the mid lane. They try to go aggressive onto Net. Net is might get picked up here. Very great aggression by Team UK. I was saying like they try to not like overstay their welcome. But in the end, they do find the pick onto Net. Puzzle Panda coming, trying to save a little bit Manq. They're looking for the disengage. That's the flash out of this contest. Plus the explosive flower being used to be a goal to go for a disengage. And so that's very, very well played by Team UK. Team France wasn't like stepping too much, but they still stepped a little bit too much, actually. Like the whole Team UK like collapsed from the top rope and finding like the pick on left which will like kind of delay a lot that aggression from that Fangtus because no in the 4v5 without neft that neft was a big portion of their damage and their kills you can see 19 kills neft at 15 of them so a big portion of like that lead that team france has is on neft so if neft is dead like actually team france can't really like apply any pressure even having all prime on four people so they have to wait for neft to respawn before they can actually like step up again on the map Hello, Cooper. So Naft is back. So we go back at actually like looking to go for some split push. Here we opt for a 1-3-1 one, one, uh, strategy. We're trying to collapse onto bond root here. We might get like the opportunity for the hook and the hook connect onto bond root. We do miss the skewer, but it's not gonna matter. Oh it's already God. dead. And that's gonna be like a nice pickup that will allow them to open up like this tower. And once again, Matthew realizing the rotation of Bond Root. Perfect timing, get the hook. And that's like a free pickup on Bond Root that is actually like one of the top level oh in the side God. of Team UK at level 14. And now we're looking at probably sieging that inhibitor while Puzzle Panda on the contest in mid lane is split pushing the tier 2 tower. It is game 4 cause me be. And so here we have a big wave. We try to use the shield to protect the inhibitor but it's not gonna be good enough. And so that's gonna be like the inhibitor on the right being secured. Ooh, and another hook by Manq. Unfortunately, like nobody is there to follow that up. So now they're gonna engage onto Manq, the counter engage. The shield slam is being used. Manq take a lot of damage. Rewind has been used. A lot of sync has been used on Manq, but I don't know how Manq does it. He's still like alive. The team is there to protect them. We're gonna go here. Sanctification is being used. Otherwise, Julia Latina would probably have been dead from the passive of the Drongo. And that's gonna be like a kind of a disengage, but in the end. Like the side of Team UK, they use a lot rewind, shield slam, like to try to get that kill onto Manq, but Manq didn't die. A little bit unfortunate, the hook was very great, but nobody was there to follow. And so here, both teams looking around the Primal Fangtus, our Prime is gone. But I would say, like, here, Team France has a slight advantage simply thanks to the fact that a lot of big ultimate is now down on the side of Team UK. So here we're looking at the hook. Import is forced to use the BMOS, flashing away, and we get the hook here with the skewer that is already back on cooldown. And losing like the rampage is actually a huge blow for the side of Team UK. And so here they just have to be careful a little bit on the side of Team France, not offering like any great like situation for these Crux to have like a nice smash and grab. And going to go, we try to go for the hook, but this time it doesn't connect. Bond would walk away um, well enough. And so here we still have a side of Team UK looking for something. But G Boy is not there, so Manchu is looking for some aggression. He doesn't have the skewer, but he finds the hook onto the Grux. The Grux gets absolutely obliterated immediately, but a very nice black hole by G Boy ended up like securing two picks. But now it's a 3v2 because we still have the Rampage being dead, and that's so much damage for the rest of Team UK. And so in the end, Team France securing a 5 for 2. They use once again like a wonderful black hole but losing already the Grux and the Rampage before the fight start 
it wasn't good enough overall and uh, team friends securing the kill I'm gonna probably get this primal fangtus for themselves it's a third fangtus as well so triple fangtus for the whole team primal fangtus for three people and that's gonna be a primal fangtus available on like moros easy peasy on the owitzer and the jungle on neff which means that all carries on the side of team friends expect the contest of course but the contest is falling very much behind in that match like all the very important target as the primal fangtus to fight for that next all prime and if team friends secure that all prime it's gonna be like probably like game over for uh for the side of team uk so we do get like the contest and the rictor that has respawned Here we're looking at this all prime. We're pulling it immediately. We do have import that is looking at maybe like jumping in. We try to go for the hook, but that forced the bounce away from import. That means that import can't jump in. And so this little thing as a support are actually very important because here you can see you go for the replash, which forced import to take an immediate decision of should I jump in or should I jump out? And he decided to jump out, which means that then he can't jump in. And that means it's a free all prime simply from that simple hook. It was like probably like almost guaranteed either way, but if you can like reinforce it even more, like go for it. Here we do have like Puzzle Panda going for a little bit of aggression onto G Boy. Fist has been expanded. Here we're looking for the Reef Walker hook onto Julie Latina. It was very, very close from happening. Here we're tanking a little bit the inhibitor. And that's gonna be the inhibitor secured by the side of Team Friends. Bondrood is kinda stuck now, he has to be very careful. And here we're looking at a little bit of aggression onto the core. BMOS is being used, forced to jump back away. Oh, a nice hook onto the steel. The steel is gonna be killed. This hook, like, kinda forced Team UK to go in, but it's a little bit too much damage. Team Friends is too strong with the double buff setup. And gonna end up cleaning up almost everything. Only import in the fountain. Not able to really like defend much. And that's gonna be GG for the side of Team Friends. Equalizing 2-2-2 two -two -two in that grand final. Forcing the best of five to the peeps game. Either team are not there back against the wall. The team that win the next match is gonna be the champion, the nation, the first nation champion of the first nation cup.